What's going on guys? I'm Tom and this is Laura. We're some kind of gaming. And that was a giant ripoff of our friend Simple Simon's intro. He does a lot of comic haul videos. We don't do haul videos, but today we thought we'd try a handed one. So we thought we'd simultaneously rip him off and shout him out at the same time. We're going to leave a link to his channel in the description below. Go check him out. He does some awesome stuff. Before we started, we just did want to say that we don't want it to seem like we're bragging at all. We know that we're super fortunate to have all of these gifts. We just love Simple Simon's haul videos and other people's haul videos. And we got heaps of gaming related stuff for Christmas. So we just thought it would be fun to share it with you. So here we go. So let's kick things off. We already have technically, haven't we, Lori? Yeah. Because we we're wearing two of our gifts. <laughs> How cool is this? Mario Happy Holidays shirt. Mine has Pikmin's. Cute little Pikmin's all over it. I also happen to get one more gaming related shirt. Pretty cool Mario Kart. Huh? 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 Nice. Not green screen friendly though. As we discovered one time, <laughs> our friend also owns this shirt. Peep that on the podcast. <laughs> Alrighty, what's next, Lori? First, I got this little imposter model. Isn't he so cute? We actually unboxed these ones on, well, it was the day before Christmas Eve. It was the day before Christmas Eve. On stream. And it also came with this beautiful note to say that Tommy found the imposter edition of Among Us for me. I was looking for it all over the place and it was sold out. Yeah, I didn't think that that was gonna happen, <laughs> but he managed to find it somewhere. So this is how he showed me. It's like a representation. Speaking of stuff we open on stream, this is what I open on stream. We do a lot of fun stuff on stream. Check us out on Twitch. These nano blocks. They're not Legos, they're nano blocks. They're smaller than Legos. You're right. And way harder, apparently. <laughs> Laura liked them so much, she bought herself one. See that little leafy on over there? Yeah. <laughs> so she actually did one of these puzzles before I did, and apparently they're quite challenging. So I'm really excited to get onto Turtwig and Dragonite. All right, so next up, oh, this is a cool one. This is a cool one. Yes, it is Mario Kart Edition Monopoly. How cool is that? How cool is it? So you've got all the little, who have we got here actually? I can't actually see. Mario, Peach, Luigi, and Toad, your favorite. Oh, I love Toad, I'm always being Toad. <laughs> so naturally, Mayfair is Rainbow Road. And you go down from there with Mario Kart Stadium being the worst one. Pretty awesome. There's a monopoly of everything these days. Yeah, there is. There's a regular Mario monopoly isn't there and like, a Mario Kart monopoly. Isn't there like a YouTuber monopoly? Uh, um, Scott the Woz <laughs> even has his own edition of monopoly. How cool is that? They're literally a monopoly of everything, but this is, this is pretty up there with the coolest ones, I'm not gonna lie. Can't wait to play it. I agree, can't wait to play that. All we need is some friends. <laughs> Next up, let's do another joint kind of present. What do you reckon? Yeah. There we go, this is pretty, these are pretty cool. Grab yours. Look at these epic glasses, these epic Pokemon glasses we got. All the starters and Pikachu. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of Charmander's head missing already, but we can deal with that. Yeah, we can deal with that. Who did you choose as your starter, Lori? Bulbasaur, always. Squirtle. I was always a grass I'm girl. I'm a Squirtle boy. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the Squirtle squad. <laughs> Hells yeah. And it's funny because uh, we got these from my brother and later on, I opened these Pokemon <laughs> glasses from Laura. <laughs> they are different. Thank God, but they are still all the starters and they're gonna make a great display piece. Well, we use them, I haven't decided yet. By the time he actually opened them on Christmas, I couldn't remember what patterned Pokemon glasses I'd gotten. We opened up these ones from Nick first and I was like stressing on the inside that they were exactly the same, but thankfully they were thankfully, slightly different. Thankfully they're different and they'll all be put to good use, that's for sure. I actually thought that they were shot glasses when I bought them and then they arrived in the mail and they were large size glasses and I was like oh. So as a result <laughs> I she had got to me get... this shot glass as well. <laughs> this little shot glass last minute. <laughs> so so many glasses this Christmas. It was a nice theme I guess, glasses for Christmas. It was the only one that would arrive in time so too bad there wasn't I was hoping there would be like you know two or four but 
One is more than enough. <laughs> One's enough. You only ever take one shot at a time, let's be honest. Well, that depends. Drink responsibly, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy got me this beautiful blast from the past, Medieval. I don't know if anybody remembers this game, but I've talked about it on the podcast and several other places, and not many people seem to remember this game, except my mum and my brother. I told them about it, and my mum was like, oh, I really liked the music in that game. <laughs> She's my kitty, my dog. I couldn't believe that she remembered it, even remembered the soundtrack. Where is it from originally? The PlayStation 1. There you go. So I'm pretty excited to play that. Speaking of PlayStation 4 games, we kind of skipped the PlayStation 4 generation, as is obvious with this purchase, The Last of Us Part 2. I know, I know, game of the year last year, and we haven't played it. We're slack. I've just completed the first The Last of Us, which I hadn't even played. I know, I know, sue me. <laughs> but number two, super excited for that. Can't wait to play this over the silly season. Really looking forward to opening it. I almost bought it for myself. I had to stop him from buying several of his Christmas presents for himself. I just want to spend money at Christmas. It's fun. <laughs> One of my favorite things that I got this year, Zelda Game & Watch. So very exciting. So this was for the 35th Zelda anniversary last year? This year? This year. Yeah, this year just gone. Oh yeah, I keep thinking that it's already 2022. Oh yeah, you're gonna hate yourself. Man. I always do that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the few things that actually happened for mm. Zelda's anniversary, so... Make sure you subscribe, we'll be talking a little bit more about that in a later video. We will. Conversation for another day. But, we so, did get that. Yeah, I'm glad to have my sticky paws on this one. Mm -hmm. And check out this cool packaging. Oh yeah, very cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's broken. It's gone now. It's not, it's not. <laughs> it still works. Just check. Whew. That's all good. <laughs> Okay, so inside the box there's this other little sleeve and it has these little cardboard cutouts that you pull out. So it's a little stand so you can display your Zelda Game & Watch, but apparently it does not come with a seatbelt as I just <laughs> demonstrated. So <laughs> be careful when you're flinging it around. So you can also use it as a display piece if you're not actually interested in using the thing. Every hour it does the like chest opening noise. It also has the first three games on it, so. I have like a life mission to collect every Zelda game. So this Physically. like, yeah, so this puts a big dent in that. Yeah, it counts as the first three. Right? It does, yeah, yeah thank absolutely. you. Thank you. No worries at all. <laughs> Lifelong mission to collect Zelda games, eh? <laughs> well, this order was completely out of left field. I had no idea what it was when it was wrapped because I guess we just don't expect DS games these days. And I got one, Spirit Tracks. Is this a present for you or for me? Well, it was a present for you, but it's I don't... A, it's your lifelong mission to collect all the Zeldas. Yes, and there was an unfortunate mishap. So the 3DSs are region locked and I didn't know that when I bought mine. So I accidentally bought a US one and Tom obviously has an Australian one. And when I bought this game, it was in the description that it was the Australian version. So I was like, great, and I bought it and then it arrived and it's not the Australian version, it's the US version, so it kind of does seem like it's a present for myself, but I actually promise you. It's fine, it's mine. You can't <laughs> it is it. It's yours. Mine. It's fine. You just have to pay it you just have to play it on my pink 3DS, that's all. That's okay. I can dig that. <laughs> pink is nice. It is nice. <laughs> so there is one last thing we got. The old classic, if you don't know what to get somebody. Let them get something for themselves. Exactly. <laughs> The old gift cards. Always a classic. Mm -hmm. I got the old PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Store. Mm -hmm. And I've got the Nintendo eShop, of course. What are you thinking of getting with yours? I do not know yet. I've got a couple of ideas. Oh, you've got a couple of ideas for mine, do you? Interesting. No, for mine. <laughs> <laughs> not yours. Oh, okay. But I'm thinking Eastwood. Let's just take a second to appreciate how bad the PlayStation card looks compared to the old Nintendo ones. They're way cooler. I know. Well, I mean, it's because it's Nintendo. It's because so. it's Nintendo. They <laughs> always look cool, don't they? They're always so bright and exciting and... Fun. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot one. <laughs> Munch's Odyssey. <laughs> Laura's like, what about the game I got you? I'm sorry. I'm in trouble later. I'll be sleeping <laughs> on the couch tonight, I think. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's pretty hard to buy us 
Switch games because we do own a large chunk of them. But thankfully, Laura knows what large chunk we own. Mm -hmm. And Munch's Odyssey was not one of them. This is a launch title for their Xbox 360, if I'm not mistaken, which neither of us owned when we were kids. So, did I say 360? Yeah. I meant the original Xbox. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below <laughs> if you know. Pretty sure this was on the Xbox, which neither has had. So, now we do have it. If you like Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, check it out. I started playing this one on Christmas and can confirm it is tons of fun. So those were all of our amazing Christmas gifts that we got this year. Thank you to anybody who's watching who got us any of these gifts. We love them so much. And thank you for sharing them with us, you guys, the viewers. It was our pleasure as always. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smack those like and subscribe buttons if you're new here. We won't be doing too many haul videos, but the occasional one will pop up every now and then. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.